popular already. You know, 16,000 individuals have decided to add these to their outdoor living space, and I can't blame them at all. Putting a birdhouse out is one step beyond just putting out a bird feeder, because you're saying to that bird, make your home, my, I'm making my home your home and the other way around. These are called the portlies. That's a good word. Some things should not be skinny. These are all done in a cast resin that is infinitely detailed. So the swan, the swan is the one that's brand new for this season. Last year we made available a cardinal, a bluebird, a finch. There's a hummingbird. Uh, we have a dodo bird, which if you've never seen a dodo, it's adorably cute. We also have, well, I'll tell you what, let me show you on QVC.com because that's the easiest way to do it. There's our bluebird. We have the cardinal. Does that cardinal look like it's smiling? The dodo is actually an extinct bird, but we have it and it's there. But there's only 250 of those left. In the finch, I've got less than that, about half of that. The heron, and we have blue heron on our, our lake, on our property. And then there's our hummingbird. And then again, brand new this year is the swan. But these all start off as a handmade clay mold. And they use that mold then to create the appropriate mode uh, for this plaster-like material called resin to be formed in. And then every single one of them is hand painted. How nice is that? Again, you're dealing with something that is crafted and created instead of manufactured. And they do each have drain holes on the bottom. There's a rubber gasket, but that is a big enough area for your smaller nesting birds to find a comfortable place to stay. Uh, Ginger Walt is coming back and she, we've got her on Skype. I'm gonna put you on the spot with all these different birds yes. that are now made available. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I don't know, the blue, blue herring probably, I, but the, I I, it's kind of difficult. It, it, yeah. I mean, they're all so beautiful. The swan is elegant and just classic, gorgeous design. You think of a, a beautiful castle estate with the swans just kind of elegantly doing their own little thing. But each one of them is just so so beautiful and magical. Uh, the bluebird, I put a little bit of nesting in here. And as you said, each one of them, Dan, they're individually hand painted. And the detail and the craftsmanship by Evergreen is really exquisite all the way around. Whichever one you end up getting, it has a seven inch hook uh, chain with a, an S hook that's at the very top. So you can hang them like I have here, or mm -hmm. you can nestle them into your own home decor. If you do put them outside, um, leave them alone. You don't even worry about cleaning them out on the very bottom. There's a clean out hole. The birds do that themselves. So I don't even bother. Year after year, I have kept mine out. In fact, I, I put the blue herring out in my front. Um, I have a, a cherry blossom tree and just left it there right after we moved into this house two years ago. Immediately the first spring, the bird made a nest. And I checked back, there's been a couple of nests already this, this spring okay. um, in that same one. And, and I've tucked the, the finch, the yellow finch, into another area, into another tree. And it's a beautiful addition. It's colorful, it's cheerful. And as you're, you were right, portly, stout, these little babies <laughs> are just, uh, give you a they tons look well of fed. real estate for those birdies. Yeah, yeah. they do. They look well fed. Uh, <laughs> again, do. the swan is the new one for this year. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, swans, I, I think they just have better marketing people or better agents. Swans always have this reputation for being elegant and romantic. They do. I'll they tell you do. a swan story, Ginger. I don't know if you knew this or not. On my 10th wedding anniversary, and Kelly and I just celebrated 20 years together. But on our 10th wedding anniversary, I thought it would be romantic to purchase two swans that could live on our lake and, and it would be an ever constant reminder of the tenderness Aww. and the romance of love. Except for You're the fact so that swans are the evilest birds on the planet. <laughs> they mate for life though, so there is that. You know but why? Because know only people. another swan could fall in love with a swan. <laughs> okay. I, I have a scar that I cannot show on TV from, from 
the dairy air getting area. That was yeah. okay. Yes. Uh, I wanted to get a photograph of these two swans, and this thing came off the lake like a, a feather-covered ninja warrior, and chased me through my own yard, a property I own and pay for, and bit yes. me so hard that I had <laughs> I had to get stitches. The, oh my the, goodness. The swans. These are the same way. They're nasty. That's really <laughs> mean. <laughs> That's funny. By the way, the cardinal that you're holding has been the most popular. Uh, so these pretty. don't bite. They're nice and gentle. They will give a home for your favorite bird. We've got, what, 250 of the cardinal that are left. And that is it. So you want to pick these up while you can at that sale price. Nine different items in this show are yep. sale priced and nine additional items are clearance sale priced. So today's a good day to do some shopping. See, you know what? See the eyes? They're all UV protected yeah. as well. So Dan, if you're thinking these are too gorgeous to put outside, they they will keep their, their uh, beautiful pink color years for years. I've had, had mine out in the elements for over probably six years. <laughs> They're cute. Look at that. Uh, by the way, I love the detail in that swan that you were showing the eyes because I'm gonna tip the it attention to detail Look at the is wings. what they're known for. And the right. feathers. I mean, this is the right. birdhouse that's going to hang in a tree. So you wouldn't think they would have to go to this just length of detail, but yet right. they do. But that's what Evergreen is known for. Well, they are. And they've been in business for over 30 years. They started making flags in a garage and then yep. expanded to home decor, indoor, outdoor, and have been at QVC here for about 15 years. But they're known for giving you that great quality in the polystone material, something that's durable, hand-painted, but just exquisite, and gives your, your birds a lot of real estate on the inside because it's hollow instead of making a nest on your front door reef that you yep. paid a fortune for, yep. give them a place to be protected and more protected from the elements in a wonderful birdhouse for the birds. <laughs> so pretty. I love that bluebird too. The bluebird is just so pretty. And it's a bird of happiness. Yeah, you see, it does, it's a smile. Now in that bluebird, we now have what, 220 that are remaining and they're gone. The next one is the Cardinal, which has been our most popular. There's about 225, 225 of those that are left. Uh, the Dodo bird, which is one maybe you wouldn't choose, but I think to choose, but that's the most colorful of all of our assortment. The Finch is also popular. There's a hundred left in the Finch and then they're gone. Again, look at the little happy smile. Uh, the <laughs> Heron, has been very popular. There's about 600. The hummingbird, about 300. And then our brand new swan, we have a few more than we did in the hummingbird. Uh, we're, we're broadcasting live now here on QVC2 with extended hours. We are now starting at 11 o'clock in the morning and we're going all the way up until midnight. So 13 hours of live broadcast, which is exactly what people said that they wanted. Uh, I enjoy this side of the hallway. It's, it's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more relaxed. Uh, we have all of our favorite guests that are joining us via Skype. And, and we just, sometimes we have a little bit longer to be able to talk about items and to share a couple more stories and, and have some fun. Ginger, the, the birds yes. that are, are nesting in yours, do you know what type of bird they are? I do, I have wrens. Um, okay. And I, I made a mistake and didn't put one out by my front door. So um, I have since. I, I have a, a beautiful big tree that I, it's about 10 feet away from the front door in the front landscape that mm -hmm. there's one there now. But in the beginning of the spring, I put a wreath, a really beautiful Valerie Parhill wreath. And it's now know. a birdhouse? And the birds made a little nest right yeah. there. So. My whole family was on like this alarm system where if you open the door, open slowly, there's five babies yeah. and they were right. So I, ever since I, you know, like I learned my lesson. So from now on, I'm hoping they will find the house and then be able to make their little nest in there instead of making it on my freshly painted front door with my gorgeous wreath. Well, you and I have a similar situation. You've been in my home many, many times. Um, yes. My house is a stone house home and we have a bird and I'm I, I still believe it's the same bird every year that built a nest on the corner 
of this tiny little piece of wood trim that goes around our front door and up against the stone. I don't know how it managed. It must have brought mud in and stuck it up against the stone. Probably. But it's a right. little nest and it's it's a wren. And so for most of the spring, we don't use our front door because every time you'd open the door, the mother would scatter. And I just felt mm. bad for her. So we've got two doors in that house, the, the side door, which is the kitchen and the front. And because of a bird, we've never used our front door. And we haven't- it, Isn't it amazing yeah. how we change our entire life around for mother nature? And you know what though? It's because they give back so much to us in watching them grow. And it's a great learning experience for children as well. Not only the old folks, you know. I, <laughs> I really enjoy seeing them. So there's yeah, our so there's I. our bluebird. The cardinal again has been very very popular. Don't let that dodo pass you by if you want more more bright colors, because very tropical. that'll work. Yep, the finch, mm -hmm. the blue heron. The paintwork impresses me on all of them. There's the hummingbird, and then last is the swan. Ginger, now you're coming back again. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is from Bernini. It's called an impact shovel. Mm -hmm. 